folks what's up it's Saki here with another tutorial and today I'm going to be teaching you how to do a Monte Book of Beat this is the second time I'm doing a Monte Book of Beat if you haven't seen it um, you can go back on my channel and just look at the videos there uh, you'll see a Monte Book of tutorial and uh, well I'm doing a second tutorial on this because some say that I didn't really go in depth in terms of the percussions and stuff so um, I'm just gonna play this beat and then we'll get into the breakdown. Okay, hold up. Mm. Okay, here we Um, I didn't really play all the instruments because I thought um, it would sound very cluttered because this all these sounds that you see here aren't yet put into a playlist so let me just break them down for you um, okay first of all you're gonna go here in uh, 3x oscillator put this knob down put this knob down and then um, you're gonna go here for the course pitch put that on 12 leave it as a sine wave and then on the ADSR, you delay all the way down, attack all the way down, you hold all the way down. Uh, your decay somewhere by 9, 10 o'clock. Your sustain somewhere around 7 or 8, 8 o'clock. Your release around 12 o'clock. And the effects, the effects that I put here are the gross beat. And I put some time warping on it, removed a bit of the lows, um, I think this was a, yeah, it was a sidechain, this was a sidechain, so that this sounds like this. Second part, I added the. Uh, I just duplicated the first sound here. created the 808 in massive uh, just a sign square go to your voicing put your max unison and F1 uh, just put some distortion and uh, downward compression created a pad here this is gonna be probably on the hundred subs bank that I'm gonna give it to you. moving on um, yeah I just uh, created it's just sort of an effect that goes on top of uh, your percussions, uh, just a little pitch AB, just created like a pitch bend effect. It's really, really use useless. It's a really useless sound, but I think it blends well with the entire track. I really love it. Um, and here, this was actually a bass. But I just tweaked it the way I wanted to. That's, 
that's how it sounded before the effect. And after I added this arpeggiation here on the fruity rap, it sounded like this. You can use that effect on your vocal chops. It's I think it's really really creative and just like out of the box. Okay, cool. Moving on. I used Harmoya. There's a preset called Forest. Just look for that. Switch off your delay and reverb. Going into it, um, decrease your velocity so it gives it that thicker sound. It sounds a bit more compressed in this way. Uh, Monte uses uh, the same exact presets. Okay, well, he changes them depending on the, s the song. He uses FM8 as well. Uh, you, can, you guys can just go there and look for the, preset, the presets there in FM8. Here's the kick. Here's another 808. I just it's not a, it's not really an 808. It's more of a sub, but I just blended it with with this. Sounds amazing. Um. Got you here on the snare. Sounds more of a very holy sort of snare. Um, yeah, I just made it. I just gave it like sort of more voices by uh, playing with the playing with the velocity here, and together all that sounds like this. I just alternated it here. On one on one side I just put more voices and one side I made it sound like much more plain. And that sounds like this. Um on some parts of further uh, this I delayed the notes on a bit on purpose, like I didn't make it want to sound on the grid. To give it that more glitchy effect. And here's the next foley. I'm going to leave the snare on. Okay. Moving on to the next foley. Um, sounds like this. That's just a shaker. This is just a spacey sound. Another foldy sort of clap, um, another percussion here. Another percussion here. That's simple. Another simple one. Here I just added a silencer. Uh, let me put the 808s on. Yeah, I just added some bubbles. Yeah, 
with some waterproofs. Uh, here is a reverse tat or symbol, but it's really unnecessary. Here is a vocal chop. Um, I just uh, added, uh, increased the attack a bit to smoothen it out. And here I used the arpeggiation again. Uh, without This is without the arpeggiator. And this is with the arpeggiator. Um, sorry about that background sound. And a vocal chop and just a hat and all that. Uh, notice how this vocal chop goes very well with this bass. Okay, um, and most of the sounds added together. <laughs> Final product won't really sound like this uh, because I st I'm still gonna do the mixing and the mastering but I just don't do that before the tutorials because I noticed that my videos usually have like a lag and like it takes a lot of CPU so um, thanks for watching this tutorial I'm gonna try and like give you all the FLP and like Peace, I'll see you all on the next tutorial, and on the next tutorial I'm thinking of uh, doing a Galamatius tutorial, so please like and subscribe, share if you want to, and thanks for watching guys.